and a very happy start to the week uh, to all my friends out there. My name is Kurt Berglund. I am doing a Pine Tar baseball game replay of the Ron Juckett 1982 World Series. This is Pine Tar baseball. These are the cards and the uh, rules that we'll be using to um, do the series. Um, Ron Juckett and uh, Retro Sports Network uh, has done a 1982 uh, season replay using Action PC, and I am in the middle of a replay of his replay of the World Series, which pairs the Montreal Expos and the Baltimore Orioles. We've done three games in this series. Uh, the Expos took game one, and the uh, Orioles have taken games two and three. We are in Baltimore's Memorial Stadium um, for game four. The opposing pitchers today are Bill Gullickson for the Montreal Expos and Mike Flanagan for the Baltimore Orioles. The lineups today are as follows. Leading off for the Expos will be left fielder Tim Raines. Batting second is designate. I'm sorry, that's not true. Batting second is right fielder. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Batting second is right fielder Joel Youngblood. Batting third is center fielder Andre Dawson. Batting fourth is catcher Gary Carter. Batting fifth is first baseman Al Oliver. Batting sixth is designated hitter Jerry White. Batting seventh is third baseman Tim Wallach. Batting eighth is shortstop Chris Speyer. And batting ninth is second baseman Doug Flynn. These are the actual lineups used by Ron Juckett in his replay. The pitcher for Montreal is Bill Gullickson. He's an A on the road, as you can see on his card. For the homestanding Baltimore Orioles, leading off and playing center field is Al Bumbry. Batting second and playing second base, Rich Dower. Batting third and the DH, Ken Singleton. Batting fourth and playing first base, Eddie Murray. Batting fifth and playing left field, John Lowenstein. Batting sixth and playing shortstop, Cal Ripken Jr. Batting seventh and playing right field, Dan Ford. Batting eighth and doing the catching today, Joe Nolan. Batting ninth, playing third base, Glenn Gulliver. The pitcher for the Orioles today, Mike Flanagan. Flanagan, as you can see, is a C at home. So we have an A against a C on the mound today. Leading off for the Expos against Flanagan is Tim Raines. Here we go. Will the Expos even the series? Or are the Orioles going to take a commanding 3-1 to one lead in the series? The pitch to Reigns is a pitching check that ends up to be a single. For Reigns, he's aboard. Joel Youngblood. Joel Youngblood. Hmm. Reigns is on base, and he's going. Oop. Oy, and I dropped my die. I dropped my die. Here we go. Reigns steals second base. He's safe. And now Youngblood with a man in scoring position. The 
the man in scoring position faces Flanagan. Expos with a chance to take an early lead. The pitch to Youngblood. That's a fly to center. And... Reigns is going to try and tag to go to third. He bluffs a move and does not go. Bumbry makes the catch. And there's one out. Dawson. The pitch to Dawson is a base hit. Infield chop. Everybody's going to be safe. Reigns gets to third. It's a first and third situation with one out for Gary Carter. Flanagan in an early, early jam. The pitch is a fly ball to right. That's Dan Ford. Medium depth. Is Reigns going to tag? He is. The throw home is not in time, and the Expos lead one to nothing. Two down, one man in. Dawson still on first, and Al Oliver at the plate. The pitch to Oliver is a fly ball to center, and that's going to be Bumbry, and that's going to do it for the Expos in the first. But they jump out on top. Tim Raines with a stolen base leads to the first Expo run of the game. Al Bumbry leads off the bottom of the first for the Baltimore Orioles against right-hander Bill Gullickson. And Bumbry strikes out. Rich Dower steps in against Gullickson. Ken Singleton is on deck. The pitch to Dower. A ground ball to short. That's Spire. Spire throws across to Oliver. And that's two down. Ken Singleton with two outs. Nobody on for Baltimore. And Singleton hits a grounder to third. That's Wallach. Wallach throws to Oliver. And that retires the side in the first. So no runs, no hits, no errors. After one, the Expos lead by a score of one to nothing. Jerry White, the designated hitter, leads off the second inning. The pitch to White is lined into the corner. That's going to be run down by Lowenstein, but not before. White gets to second with a leadoff double. Flanagan starts the second inning in trouble. The pitch to Wallach. Tim Wallach lofts one in the air to left. Lowenstein camps under it. And makes the catch. One out. White on second. Spire. Chris Spire, ground ball to short. Um, look at White go. Ripken looks at him on his way to third, but throws to first for the out. And with two outs, White gets to third safely. And the light hitting, Doug Flynn, is at the plate. They invented the term light hitting for Doug Flynn. Actually, that's a little-known baseball fact. The pitch to Flynn is a strikeout. No, I'm sorry. It's not a strikeout. I looked in the wrong column. We're on a pitching check, folks. Uh, the pitch to Flynn is a walk. He walked him. First and third. Two outs. Tim Raines. We're back to the top of the order. Tim Raines at bat. The pitch to Raines is a line drive base hit up the middle. That'll score White. And Flynn stops at second. First and second, two outs for Youngblood. Two to nothing Expos. Joel Youngblood.
hit a fly ball to right. And that's going to be caught for the third out of the inning. And Al Red Sox, one of Al Red Sox fans' favorite players, fails to come through in the clutch. That's Joel Youngblood, everybody. Let's give him a hand. Okay, so bottom of the second. It's 2 nothing Expos. And Eddie Murray comes to the plate against Bill Gullickson, who's been in control so far. Ground ball to third, that's Wallach. And that's one down. John Lowenstein with one up. Lowenstein, and we have an error check. We have an error check. Uh, to 16, that's Al Oliver, who just booted it. Al Oliver lets it bounce off his glove. Lowenstein save it first. The Orioles have their first base runner of the game. Cal Ripken Jr. is up. And Ripken bounces one to Wallach. Wallach to Flynn. Flynn to Oliver. And that is a double play that ends the second inning. After two, the Expos are on top. Two to nothing. This doesn't look like a baseball shirt. I grant you that. But underneath the Avengers, this is a Brewers promotional shirt from a few years ago on a special night that they had at the ballpark. All right. Andre Dawson leads off the third inning. <clears throat> He's one for one. He singled in the first. The pitch to Dawson is a ground ball to second. That's Dower. Dower throws to Murray, and there's one out. Gary Carter. Carter hits a fly ball to right. That's Dan Ford, and Disco Dan makes the catch. Two down. And Al Oliver. Oliver singles with two outs. Keeps the inning alive for Jerry White, who doubled in the second. Scored a run. Two outs, one man on. Flanagan to White. And White hits a fly ball to right. This is going to be Dan Ford again. Flanagan throws his first scoreless inning, and after two and a half, it's 2 nothing Expos. Gullickson will face Ford, Nolan, and Gulliver. He strikes out Ford. There's one down in the third. Joe Nolan. Nolan... Draws a walk. Joe Nolan draws a walk. Glenn Gulliver. Batting ninth in the lineup today for Baltimore. The pitch to Gully is a fly ball to right. This is going to be Youngblood. That's two outs. And we go to the top of the order, and that's Al Bumbry. There's two outs, Joe Nolan on first. And the pitch is a range check. Ground ball to third, that's Wallach, but Wallach makes the play. And that retires the side, it's 2 nothing after three. Tim Wallach leads off the fourth inning for the Expos against Flanagan. The Expos leading two to nothing. And he hits a fly ball to left. Lowenstein back, back to the wall, and he makes the catch. One down. Spire. Hammers a ground ball to third. That's Gulliver. Gulliver's got it and throws to Murray for two outs. 
and Doug Flynn, the aforementioned light hitting Doug Flynn, lives up to his moniker and taps a fly ball to center. Bombry coming in and makes the catch. That's two out. That's three outs. And the Expos fail to score in their fourth inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth, and it's Rich Dower against Bill Gullickson. The pitch to Dower. Dower hits a fly ball to left. That's going to be Reigns. And Reigns makes the play for the first out. One down. Kenny Singleton, the DH today, is 0 for 1. And Kenny draws a walk. Nope, I'm wrong. T takes a called third strike. Two down. Murray. Eddie Murray. Two outs. Bottom of the fourth. And the pitch to Eddie. He strikes out swinging. Gullickson's got it going. No runs, no hits, no errors. After four, the Expos lead by a score of two to nothing. Tim Raines leads off for Montreal. The pitch is a ground ball to first. Murray's going to take that one himself. And there's one down in the fifth. Joel Youngblood is 0 for 2 today. Fly ball to center field. That's Bumbry. And Bumbry drifts back a little bit, but does make the play. It's two outs. And Andre Dawson is 1 for 2 with a single. With two outs here in the fifth. The pitch to the Hawk is a fly ball to left. That's Lowenstein. Lowenstein drifting back into that corner in Memorial Stadium, but does make the catch, and that retires the Expos in the fifth. Flanagan is now seven in a row, retired. Gullickson takes the mound to face Lowenstein, Ripken, and Ford in the fifth. John Lowenstein strikes out. One down. Cal Ripken Jr. 0 for 1 with a costly double play in the second. The pitch to Cal is a ground ball to second. That's Flynn. Flynn throws to Oliver, and that's two down. Gullickson now pitching to Dan Ford, who struck out in the third. And Dan Ford... Hits a ground ball to first. That's Al Oliver. He's going to flip to Gullickson, and that will retire the side. Nothing across in the fifth. After five, Montreal two, Baltimore nothing. Gary Carter against Mike Flanagan, leading off the sixth. The pitch to Carter is a walk. He walked him. Al Oliver coming to the plate. Facing the left-hander Flanagan. And Al Oliver hits a comebacker to Flanagan, who turns and throws to Ripken, Ripken to Murray, and that's a double play. Two outs in the sixth. Jerry White stepping to the plate. One for two with a run scored on the day. And White draws a walk. Flanagan might be getting a little bit tired, although there's no action yet in the Oriole bullpen. Tim Wallach with a man on first and two outs. We have a rare play. And it's a passed ball. A passed ball allows White to get to second. Now Wallach has a legitimate RBI chance with two outs in the sixth. The pitch to Tim. 
He hits one to center, and this is going to be Alba Bumbery's ball to take. A little bit into the right field gap, but he takes it. And that retires the side in the sixth. After five and a half, still Montreal two, Baltimore nothing. Joe Nolan stepping in against Bill Gullickson. And Gullickson... We have a ground ball to second. That's Flynn. One down. Flynn Gulliver. Gulliver. Bottom of the six with one up. The pitch to him is a fly ball to left. That's Tim Raines. And that's two down. And Al Bumbry. Al Bumbry. It's a comebacker to Gullickson, and Gullickson throws to Oliver. Nothing across in the sixth. The line score so far through six innings is the Expos, two runs on five hits and one error. The Expos, no runs on no hits, and they have committed no errors. Going to the seventh, Chris Beyer. Speyer leads off against Flanagan. The Expos shortstop hits one hard and deep. Lowenstein to the wall. It's gone. Chris Beyer just hammered one out of here. It's 3 nothing Montreal. Doug Flynn, who bats behind Spire for protection. Uh, okay, so Flynn is 0-for-1 with a walk that nobody can quite understand. And he's stepping in against Flanagan. Flanagan is starting his seventh inning of work. And the pitch to Flynn is a base hit. Doug Flynn has gotten a base hit. And whenever Doug Flynn gets a base hit, you've got to start thinking bullpen. And so Storm Davis is going to start warming up for the Baltimore Expos. And Davis... Did not pitch in yesterday's game. He's fresh as a daisy. Tim Raines with nobody out. Flanagan looking to get out of trouble. Strikes out Raines. Wow. Raines is now two for four on the day. Joel Youngblood stepping in. He's over three. Again, one of our Red Sox fans' very favorite ball players. 0 for 3 with the man on first. That's Doug Flynn. Doug Flynn, uh, Joel Youngblood, strikes out. Flanagan's got two Ks in a row, and now Dawson. The pitch to Dawson. Is an error check. We have an error check for Andre Dawson. And that will test um, the shortstop, Cal Ripken Jr., who does boot it. And this is a bad one because it's a two-base error. Dawson gets to second. Doug Flynn motors, if that's the word I'm looking for, all the, word, all the way around to third base, and we now have runners on second and third with Carter up. But they're going to walk Gary and pitch to Al Oliver with the bases loaded and two outs. That gets the platoon advantage back for Baltimore. Davis is ready in the bullpen. Jerry White is on deck. Al Oliver with a chance to break this thing wide open. He 
hit a fly ball to right field. It's way back, way back, and forward to the wall, and it's caught by Dan Ford. That's three outs. Flanagan escapes further damage in the seventh, but the Expos add one to their lead, and it's now three to nothing Expos over the Orioles. Rich Dower stepping in in the bottom of the seventh against Bill Gullickson. The Orioles still looking for their first hit on the day. The pitch to Dower is a fly ball to center. That's Andre Dawson. There's one out in the seventh. Ken Singleton is 0 for 2. He struck out in the fourth. The pitch to Kenny. Fly ball to left. Reigns drifting back, but not a big deal. He's got it. Two down. And Eddie Murray, 0 for 2, also struck out in the fourth. The pitch to Murray is a fly ball to center, and that's three down. Nothing across for the Orioles. We go to the eighth. The Montreal Expos, three, and the Baltimore Orioles, nothing. And that's going to do it for Mike Flanagan who went seven innings today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits allowed. Three runs. Um, all three runs were earned. Uh, he walked th three men and one more intentionally. He struck out one, two batters and allowed the one home run to Chris Spire. Storm Davis is now on. Storm Davis is making his um, second appearance in the series. He pitched an uneventful inning in game two. He will face White, Wallach, and Spire in the top of the eighth. The Orioles have not gotten a hit yet off of Bill Gullickson, and we've gone through seven innings. The pitch to White against Davis. Ground ball to short. That's one down. Tim Wallach with one down. He's over for 3 today. The pitch to him is a ground ball to Murray, and Murray's going to take it unassisted. For two outs, and Chris Byer, who homered just last inning, and is one for three on the day against Storm Davis, against uh, Mike Flanagan, now faces Storm Davis, and hits a fly ball to center. That's going to be Bumbry, who takes it for the third out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It's Montreal three, Baltimore nothing. Bill Gullickson has six outs to go to finish off a no-hitter. He's walked one. The Expos have committed one error. Lowenstein steps in, and Lowenstein ruins the no-hitter with a shot in the gap, and that's going to be a double for Lowenstein. First hit of the game for the Orioles, leading off the eighth inning, uh, is a double. And the Orioles still have designs on winning this game. Cal Ripken Jr. is due up... The Expos bullpen. The Expos bullpen is stirring. And that hmm. it's Woody Fryman and Bryn Smith. Throwing quickly in the Expos bullpen. Cal Ripken Jr. looking to keep a rally going. There's nobody out. Lowenstein's on second. The pitch to Cal is a deep drive to left. 
Reigns to the wall, and it's 3-2. to two. Montreal has had their lead cut to one. Uh, Ripken's first homer of the series. It's a one-run game now. Gullickson's lost the shutout, the no-hitter. And he may be in the process of losing the lead here in the bottom of the eighth. Orioles trail by one. Dan Ford with nobody out in the eighth. Ground ball first base. That's Oliver. And Al takes it unassisted for the first out. Joe Nolan. Joe Nolan. Hits a ground ball at third. That's Wallach. Two down. And now it's Gulliver. <coughs> They're going to hit for him. They're going to hit for Glenn Gulliver. With two outs in the eighth. And they're going to take a shot with who? Who's going to get the opportunity to try and tie this thing? Hmm. It's going to be Jim Dwyer. Jim Dwyer is going to try and get on, hitting for Gulliver. Dwyer's a left-handed pinch hitter. He has... No, he, he, he pinch hit in game one. And it was 0 for 1. And he pinch hit in game two. In game three and was 0 for 1. So he's 0 for 2 on the series with two pinch hitting attempts. And now he faces Gullickson. The pitch to Gullickson is a walk. Dwyer draws a walk. And now Bumbry. That's going to do it for Gullickson. They're going to force a change here. Um, Gullickson is coming out. And Woody Fryman, the veteran left-hander, is coming in for the third consecutive day uh, to face Al Bumbry. Gullickson pitched a great game. Seven and two-thirds innings. He allowed two hits, none until the eighth inning. He walked two men. He struck out two, four, five men, and one home run was allowed. Uh, Dwyer's on first base. He's still responsible for Dwyer, but so far he's allowed two runs, and both were earned. Bumbry does not hit left-handed pitching well. And so we're going to see a pinch hitter for him. It's going to be Gary Renicky. Yeah, it's going to be Gary Renicky batting for Bumbry against Fryman. There are two outs here in the bottom of the eighth. The Expos lead three to two. The Orioles have the tying run on first base in Jim Dwyer. Gary Renicky is batting for Al Bumbry, who was over three with a strikeout on the day. The pitch to Renicky is a shot, and that's trouble. Into the corner, Reigns has to run it down. Are they going to send Dwyer? Yes, they are. Um, okay. So, Reigns is running it down. They're going to do a relay.
Dwyer's getting waved around third. They're going to try and score him. The throw home is in time. They shot him down. Jimmy Dwyer does not make it home. And that retires the side. But the Orioles scored two runs on a two-run home run by Cal Ripken Jr. Um, you can close the book on Gullickson. He allowed two runs, both earned, in his seven and two-thirds innings. Renicky will go to center field in the top of the ninth in Bumbry's spot. Gulliver, excuse me. Gulliver was hit for in the bottom of the eighth by Jim Dwyer. And so Len Sakata is going to come in to play second. That's going to move Dower to third. And so Sakata will bat ninth. and play second base. So the Orioles burn a couple pinch hitters, but they do get two runs. And Storm Davis is still on the mound uh, in the top of the ninth. That's Doug Flynn leading off for the Expos. It's a 3-2 ball game and a critical game at that for the Expos. Flynn, one for two on the day with a walk. You're just as surprised as I am. Fly ball to right. That's going to be Ford playing at Little League depth and makes the play. One down. Tim Raines. Reigns, we have an error check. We have an error check. And Reigns, that's Ford in right field. Hits the ball to Ford, who drops the ball. He drops the ball. And that's going to put Reigns on first base with the error by Ford. First error of the day by the Expos. Reigns is on first. Youngblood is at bat. He's the right fielder. Storm Davis is on the mound, and there's nobody warming up. And so... Warren Cromartie is going to come off the bench to bat for Youngblood and doubtless go into play right field with the reins on first. The pitch to Warren with one out and reins on first. He grounds one to first. That's Murray, but Rain's got a great jump off first. He will get to second, and Murray flips to Davis for the out. There's two outs now. Dawson is coming up, and there's Rain's on second base. Dawson is up. Carter is on deck. Dawson is up, Carter's on deck, and Reigns is on second base. Tippy Martinez is going to get up in the bullpen and start throwing. Um, they're going to pitch to Dawson. 
Reigns is on second. Dawson's up. There's two outs in the ninth. Storm Davis to Dawson. Strikes him out. Wow. Davis keeps them right where they are. And the Expos go to the bottom of the ninth, leading 3-2. to two. Fryman gave up a double to Renicki in the bottom of the eighth. He gave up a double to Renicki in the bottom of the eighth. But Jim Dwyer was thrown out at home, attempting to score the tying run of the ballgame. So Fryman pitched one-third of an inning. He allowed one hit, no runs, no walks, no strikeouts, and no home runs. The new pitcher in the bottom of the ninth is Jeff Reardon. Jeff Reardon is the Expos' closer in 1982. Uh, Jeff Reardon pitched in game one of the series... Uh, he did earn a save, two-thirds of an inning, one strikeout, no other damage. And in the ninth, he will face Dower, Singleton, and Murray. Except, Dower's not going to bat, and we're going to see one of Earl Weaver's favorite pinch hitters, and that's Terry Crowley. Terry Crowley will, will bat for Dower. Uh, to lead off the ninth against Jeff Reardon. The pitch to Crowley. Nobody out. The Orioles need a run to tie and two to walk this thing off. The pitch is a range check. That's a range check for Dawson, and he passed every one of those. So that's a first out fly ball to Dawson, one down. Kenny Singleton. Singleton, the DH today, is 0 for 3 with a whiff back in the fourth. Reardon winds and throws to Singleton. He strikes him out. That's two down. Expos are one out away from tying the series at two games apiece. Eddie Murray. The last gasp, maybe, for Baltimore is 0 for 3 today with a strikeout. Lowenstein is on deck. Reardon is throwing gas. And that's a fly ball deep to right. Way back for Cromarty at the wall. He makes the catch. And that's the ball game. A 3-2 squeaker for Montreal to even the series at two games apiece. Jeff Reardon comes on and earns his second save of the series. The winning pitcher is Bill Gullickson. He is 1-0. The losing pitcher is Mike Flanagan, who really deserved a better fate, but falls to 0-1, and the save again goes to Reardon. That's his second save of the series. The line score for Montreal, three runs on seven hits, and they committed one error for Baltimore, two runs on three hits, and they committed two errors. So, uh... Storm Davis went two innings in relief, which makes him um, unavailable for tomorrow's game. Woody Fryman has pitched three consecutive days. That makes him unavailable for tomorrow's game. So we do have some usage concerns uh, for both teams for tomorrow in terms of the bullpen. The starting pitchers in Game 5 of the series um, will be Mike Boddicker 
for Baltimore. Uh, again, we are using the lineups and the pitching matchups um, that each team used in Ron Juckett's World Series 1982 World Series replay uh, on Action PC. So Mike Boddicker will pitch for the homestanding Baltimore Orioles, and Steve Rogers will pitch for the Montreal Expos. We are nodded at two games apiece. I hope you'll click like and subscribe to my channel. Um, we will be going back to Montreal for game six. We know that now for sure. Um, and uh, we've got lots more pine tar uh, baseball coming up in, over the next few days. So um, looking forward to having you join us. Thank you so much for being here, and uh, we'll see you uh, tomorrow. Have a great day.